I'm here at an exhibition, a very special exhibition about manuscripts. Now, why do we want to know about manuscripts? What are there in the manuscripts? Why do we need to study them? Let's find out. We have a very special person with us to explain what all this means. We have Dr. Sudha Gopalakrishnan, who is project director for Samhita and also founder director, National Mission for Manuscripts. Ma'am, why this exhibition? Well, this ex yes, yes, it's fine. Yeah, this exhibition is about manuscripts, and manuscripts are handwritten documents written by scholars, scribes, people who have had special knowledge of certain fields and who have been pursuing those subjects for many, many centuries. I would like to say millennium. Mm -hmm. So these are documents that have sciences, literatures and scriptures and religion and faiths and many, many kinds of wisdom in them. So that's a special feature about manuscripts. Well, here I see that uh, it is from the very beginning how it started, from the seals to uh, we see the copper plates and everything. So this is the whole history of manuscripts which you see here. Well, it all starts with the oral tradition. We uh, passed on our all the knowledge through an, a very, very vibrant oral tradition. Hmm. And at one point of time, people started writing them in hmm. through scripts okay. in surfaces. And these surfaces are as diverse as, uh, as you can see, stone, birch bark, or leather, copper plate, pl uh, metal, different kinds of metal, and up to palm leaf, and, manu and also handwritten um, uh, paper. So okay. these are many, many surfaces and are written in different kinds of scripts, right from Brahmi and Kharoshti to start with, hmm. plus Sitham, from which many scripts arose in the country, hmm. uh, in India that is. So, and so this is the copper one, the picture which we are seeing, this is the copper one, right? Yes, this is a copper plate, it's a copper plate in which is inscribed an inscription. Hmm. So this is what um, uh, many people used to, I mean, the kings used to do this, I mean, and the inscription used to be done in copper plates and spread to people so that people understood what the inscription was about. Right. So uh, not only these, uh, about, king, about kings or uh, queens and uh, like all the manuscript, what I also noticed here is uh, a very interesting thing, like, uh, like these, these, are the, uh, these are the forms which I think most people think the manuscripts are in. Mostly manuscripts are these days available in palm leaf and handwritten paper. Okay. So this is a palm leaf manuscript written in uh, in Malayalam script and I think it is inscribed the Ramayana story. Oh. Yeah, a, a Kerala version of the Ramayana story. So okay. this is what this is about. Okay, so there are many more here and one thing which I find very interesting is about all the uh, medical procedures. So the, these are, what, what are these? This is a Ramayana scroll again. Actually, this is part of a very long scroll of about many meters, but this is only a portion of that. And the other portion is on the other side, as you can see. Right. So Ramayana, and in, it has been in, written in so many ways, uh, manuscripts and uh, other forms of uh, uh, writing. And here we, are, we uh, look at these and uh, we also see medical practices, which is quite interesting because usually uh, people don't uh, associate manuscripts with medical practices procedures? Actually, that's uh, perhaps not right because there's a very vibrant tradition of medicinal hmm. systems which are inscribed in a manuscript, right. which you can see right here. Yeah. For example, yeah, this, this is, look uh, at this. This is a medical procedure. In fact, it is a surgical procedure, as you can see. Right. Sushruta Samhita, written by Sushruta sometime in the first half of maybe in the fourth, fifth century, is a medical treatise mm -hmm. which has um, um, surgical procedures in very, very detailed, written in very great detail. Yeah. So, uh, this, this is uh, like a beautiful exhibition, but uh, what's the purpose of it? I mean, these exhibitions, what actually do they achieve? Hmm. Yeah, well, people don't know what, the, the, what manuscripts are about. They think it's only about maximum about religion or about some faith, about some meditative technique, about yoga. Hmm. But manuscripts cover different domains that, you know, people wrote on, including all this that we are seeing. See, this is on medical test. Right. And that's on pulse reading. That's on pregnancy. 
Okay. Uh, you know, so there are the, the subjects are so varied. Hmm. This is about veterinary science, mm -hmm. and there is on yoga. There hmm. is also on astronomy, oh. algebra, right. architecture, mm -hmm. literature of different kinds. Mm -hmm. You know, there are literary histories, there are epics, there are biographies. And what you would know? this be? Oh, this is a, this is if you can see this is something on a huh. this is like a calendar. Huh. This calendar for calendar about festivals and about astrological predictions so about dates and so, so these are originally uh, these colorful yes yes it's the same color we have not done anything to the color they have okay. been very well retained and it uh -huh. is very um, beautiful and look at that one yes this is very uh, that is a Jane, i can say this is Jane very cosmo sketch cosmological you know um, uh, portrait and this and is from this is from uh, the uh, oxford university okay yeah from the Bodleian Library, mm -hmm. so, yeah. So this, so this is about what is the center of the universe, and it also ha has locations like Sindhu, mm -hmm. the uh, Ganga Nadi, Sindhu, Hima, right. Himavan, and all that. And it is how, who, for example, the center of the universe, and what they are giving us the center of the universe. Mm -hmm. So it is a Jain model of what is the law, the world, the Manushya Loka about. It's beautiful. And then this one uh, here, what would this be? That is actually a biography of women poets, Sufi poets. Oh. So it's very interesting that's Bhakti poets, but uh -huh. Sufi. So it contains the Farsi women poets and it's their names and their history. So these here would be uh, from uh, Mughal period, right? Yes, yes, that's right. I mean, this will be from the Mughal period. And okay. yeah, this is actually the uh, Ramayana, uh, sorry, the Mahabharata written in Farsi. It is called Razam Nama. Okay. So it is very interesting in that sense because it is a, it's a Mahabharata, the Indian text, written in Farsi. Yeah, and and commissioned by Akbar. So uh, I would say this is like also a, a kind of uh, amalgamation of everything India uh, has yeah, had yes. through history. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And it's not that, like I said, it's not just that we had only about scriptures and histories. Hmm. There are also see, look at this manuscript. It's called. One. No, that one. Yeah, this is a game. It's a game, Joseph. board game, board game. Okay. In a manuscript form. Okay. And that one is something called Manas Ullasa, hmm. some ulla pleasure of the mind. Okay. So it has many things like you know games of dice and how about social relationships, about courtly life, even about you know uh, different things that we do to make ourselves happy. Right. You know? So uh, with this exhibition, what do you expect to achieve? So what we think is that, you know, with this people should understand the diversity of disciplines and mm -hmm. the diversity of subjects that is covered. Also, a cautionary uh, a note in the sense that these are all very fragile things. Mm -hmm. They need to be documented, they need to be studied, they need to be made accessible to people who want to pursue these kind of studies. And right. secondly, they also are to be transmitted to the next generation with all the seriousness and the commitment that they deserve to. Thank you so much for explaining all these manuscripts to us. And this exhibition is on in IIC. If you get time or you can make time, please do come and get in touch with our history and you'll find many new things you can explore. Kadambani Sharma in New Delhi for NETV.